Joining me today is Dr. Nicholas Twidell, an interventional cardiologist in Elk City, Oklahoma. As the only cardiologist living in Western Oklahoma, Dr. Twidell has a very busy practice, and it's important for him to get results early for his patients. Dr. Twidell has been using a mobile EKG app called AliveCore to help detect problems early and reduce the need for formal EKGs. We're visiting today via Zoom video conference. Dr. Twidell, thank you for joining me. Appreciate it. So you've been doing some innovative things in your practice that we've been talking about. So can you tell us a little bit about what a live core is? It's a application that allows me uh, to get real time uh, electrocardiographic recordings of my patients in my office or in any situation in fact. Uh, uh, and I've been using it for the last uh, 18 months. Uh, I found it very useful in a variety of, uh, of environments. My office, uh, obviously, but others I've used it in other situations as well. Uh, and what can you tell us, doctor, about how you've been using a live core in your practice? I'm basically an office-based uh, cardiologist. I see about 13 patients a day. I would imagine I use it five or six times a day. Um, so I use it uh, for patients who have symptoms of uh, non-specific symptoms, maybe increasing fatigue or shortness of breath, obviously palpitations. And so it's very useful to apply this uh, technology there in the office and then instantaneously, real time, get a, a, an idea of whether we might be dealing with a heart rhythm disturbance, notably atrial fibrillation. Uh, and I've detected uh, atrial fibrillation patients uh, who've not known it before. And that's obviously a very important uh, diagnosis to make that uh, has a lot of implications. The alternative is that if, if I suspect an arrhythmia, I have to send my patient over to the hospital. It's not very far, it's across the road, but it entails uh, uh, difficulties for just the logistics of getting the patient who are often elderly negotiating through the front office of the hospital, registering and just to get an EKG, whereas I can you know, get an idea of what's going on just in, in my office with the, uh, this uh, device. Uh, and you've talked a little bit about this. Can you tell me any more about how the patients have responded to a live core? The patients find it very appealing because uh, it's, it's Generally pretty easy to use, uh, just placing fingers on the back of a, of a device and then uh, looking at it and instantaneously getting a look at their EKG rhythm strip. The patient and their uh, spouses uh, are, uh, find it uh, enjoyable and uh, appealing that it's uh, there in front of their eyes. That way you can also transmit you know, transfer information to them real time. Often, uh, if you get the information later on and then you have to track down the patient or notify them of what the finding on their EKG is, that sort of, uh, uh, is, you know, it's more difficult to do that, to get people back together uh, into the office to talk about the findings. So, although it's not a diagnostic as a 12-lead EKG in terms of all the other information, but just in terms of getting a rhythm strip, diagnosis of atrial fibrillation, bundle branch block, left ventricular hypertrophy and strain, all very useful pieces of information. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you if you would, is there any way that you can show us how to use? So this is the device, it's just the casing on my iPhone 5, but it's also suitable for Samsung uh, smartphones as well. They have the same size and so I can put my fingers, this is usually the only step that is of difficulty to some of the patients. You have to get their fingers right on these silver plates. I've asked, I've suggested they might try and make these sort of more tactile so they can actually feel it, but it's actually a sight thing to see the silver smooth plates that picks up the uh, electrograms from the fingers. Right. And then... Uh, if you can hold it up a little more, doctor. Okay, well, that's recording my electrogram and it'll smooth out there we go 
and then so I've recorded it and I can show it to the patient, their family, and uh, and patients can actually also buy these things. They're about two hundred dollars. Once they have it, they can actually transmit to a site in New Jersey that uh, sends them back information of what they've found. I've had two or three patients who've invested in that. But I think most of the time I've done it here in the office or in the rural clinic uh, using my own device. Right. So, Doctor, thank you so much for talking with us today. I think that you've, you've really given us some good information about using a live core for, for other physicians. Thank you, Natalie. Okay, doctor. Thank yeah. you. Bye-bye. Thank you.